All right, so the Red Sox um, really get the uh, proverbial slap on the wrist. Uh, they're not going to get punished at all. Uh, they determined that the primary culprit was not the front office, nor was it manager Alex Cora or the players, but the team's video replay system operator. The league did not find that Boston's impermissible conduct continued during the 2018 postseason or 2019 regular season because they had done um, some sketchy stuff in 2017. Uh, Rob Manfred said the investigation included interviews with 65 witnesses, including 34 current and former Red Sox players, as well as reviews of tens of thousands of emails, text messages, video clips, and photographs. So uh, this is what it comes down to. Cora is absolved, and his coaches are also absolved from responsibility. And they found that the team's front office effectively communicated baseball sign-stealing rules to non-player staff. So that means Dave Dombrowski also gets off scot-free. So the only person who's going to be punished is the video room operator. That's it. Uh, his name is J.T. Watkins, and he has been banned through the 2020 playoffs and from doing the same job in 2021. Alex Cora has been banned through 2020 and the 2020 playoffs, but only for his conduct with the Astros. And the Red Sox have lost the 2020 second-round pick. So nothing. They got essentially nothing. nothing. And also, you'd have to think, Don and Peter, why was Cora fired? So you tell me that the Red Sox would not have hired Cora if they knew what he did with the Astros in 2017 because they, they essentially fired him for what? He didn't do anything in 2018 other than manage very well and manage and get a World Series. I guess I'm because confused. it was like preemptive. Maybe the Red Sox figured it will be less penalty if we if we fire Cora. Maybe it was just a public relations where, you know, if every, everybody else is being let go, so I guess we got to let go of our guy. Stinks though. Just stinks to high heaven. Honestly, it just you could cheat and get away with it. I'm sorry. I don't care. You, Manfred can come on and talk about all oh, this is significant penalties. Or, stop, stop. The Astros and the Red Sox cheating got away with it. Period. Done. End of sentence. I'm confused. Yeah, but but one thing, though, Don, and I said this at the time, I don't think that what the Red Sox did was nearly as egregious as the Astros. I know Yankee fans don't want to hear that, but it, it simply wasn't. Well, it, 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 is... it just wasn't. Here's what they did. They had communication from the replay room to the dugout to the base runner to the hitter, which is a lot less direct, according to Ken Rosenthal, and flagrant than what the Astros did. It is, it is a very... Very tough interpretation I, of cheating. I, I think that what they did was um, gamesmanship. I really do. They d- they I, decoded the signs, and then they really couldn't do anything with them until somebody got on second but, base. But then that's a different situation, Michael, because then Rob Manfred could say, "Listen, we 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 filed it under gamesmanship, uh, and so we're not going to do anything." No, they they acknowledged it as cheating and punished one person and lost a draft pick. So Manfred admitted that it was cheating. He, he disagrees with you. He believes that this falls under the category of cheating. Is it nearly as bad as what the Astros did? No. So the fact that it's less punishment than what Houston got kind of makes sense. Right. But in the final analysis, two teams won championships, cheated in order to do it, and got away with it. Because you're telling me the players didn't didn't know this information? They, they, they knew they were getting the information. The league said that 30 players said they had no knowledge of such behavior, decode, that he was decoding signs during the game via the replay system. MLB investigators talked to six witnesses who observed Watkins write out signs during the game, and 11 said that Watkins communicated sign information in a way that indicated he obtained it during the game. Four witnesses said Watkins used gestures or notes to communicate to them signed sequence information when a major league employee assigned to watch over video room was present. So there was somebody there from the major leagues, and they were doing it right in front of his face. It, I, I, my opinion seems to be about the whole thing in general, Michael. It just stinks. Well, Manford wrote that Watkins admitted he communicated signed information during games to players, but that he said when he did... So it was based on old information, not newly discovered during that same game. 
Similarly, if a base runner had decoded signs from second base and reported the information back to him, Watkins would circulate that information to other players, the investigation found. In fact, he asserted that players were aware that they were supposed to routinely provide him with sign information gathered when they were on second base. So then why is he suspended if he didn't do anything wrong? I, he just seems like a patsy, doesn't he? You got, you got, you got somebody's got to be punished for this. Can't and touch isn't the it players. Weird, though, too? I mean, I like Alex Cora, okay? So I'll, I'll put that out front. Alex Cora engineered something so beautifully done in 2017, so wickedly smart, that the Astros won the World Series. So he became the manager of the Red Sox and never, ever thought of doing it there. Does that make any sense? No. So we knew the Red Sox were going to get less, right? Because we, we were warned of that from the very beginning. Yep. But basically nothing. You know, this guy, I guess, in effect, loses his job because I, I guess he won't be asked back after the suspension is over, I would assume. Well, he could be. I mean, he could, could be, but. Can I, yeah. can I ask a question? Please. So, so they're saying, Michael, that the only way the Red Sox cheated was this dude, the the analytic film dude. It was. It, it was I'm trying to understand. This is the only guy. It this was his operation, guy. a random, not right. random, but a, a guy who's not at a super high level. The front office had nothing to do with it. Cora right. had nothing to do with it. None of the coaches knew. This rogue J.T. Watkins, he's the only guy. I, I don't understand. How is that possible? Why not it's just not say possible. no one did anything then? But, but I mean, it's what? not possible, but again, this is the fallacy, the joke of this whole thing. Even if he found the players were responsible, you can't do anything. Manfred can't touch the players. That's why this whole thing is a joke. So now, Manfred it, said in, in requiring the Red Sox to forfeit a draft pick, he said, quote, the club must be held accountable, particularly since the club may have benefited from Watkins' conduct. And again, Watkins vehemently denies that he did anything wrong. And I don't know, you know, who they're going by to actually whack them for this year and next year, but but you tell me the coaches and the, and, and, and the manager of the team had no idea what was going on. I mean, if you remember, I can't stand up straight in the Red Sox dugout at Fenway Park. It's so small and cramped. Mm -hmm. There's no way that somebody could pass gas down the end of the outfield side of the dugout and on the first base side, of the, uh, home plate side, they would, they would smell it. That's how small that dugout is. There's no way that they didn't know. I'm not but, saying they should get whacked because I have been gone on record saying I don't think that they, but, what they did was egregious. But you can't tell me that Alex had no idea what was going on. But again, Michael, that's not the issue. Baseball claims something happened. Like if baseball issued a statement today, believing saying we don't really think it was cheating, that it more under the title of gamesmanship, then then you could agree with them, and maybe I can agree with them. We can move on. They're acknowledging that something was done wrong, but it still goes unpunished. And why? Who are you going to punish? Can't touch the players. We've already acknowledged that from the Astros scandal. You can't touch Cora. He's already been fired. So it's just easier for them to just say the coaches weren't involved because Cora's already the guy that would, would be disciplined, and he's already out of a job. Can't touch the players. So that's why this whole thing's a joke anyway. How about a little hot take? You want a little hot take? Please. Alex Cora is the manager of the Red Sox in 2021. Probably could be. We, we were that just, from the beginning. He's just, yep, he's just holding the place. They love Alex Cora. Don't, they don't like him, Peter. Love him. They love him. Well, and I'm sure that parting ways with him was difficult because they think he's a great manager. And you know what? Around baseball, he is thought of as a really right. brilliant uh, baseball man. Well, guess what? He's not the only Cora to have a big day because what a night from Joey Cora last night. Am I right? <laughs> I mean, he only homered three times during the regular season, goes yard in a, an exciting game. Oof. Now, in terms of the players, uh, Manfred said uh, he, he would not have had any interest in disciplining players in this particular instance, noting this is not a case in which I would have otherwise considered imposing discipline on players. So even if they were, weren't given immunity, he's saying he would not have disciplined them. It's... So it's easy to say that when you know championships, you can't. Two teams won championships, and really they still have championships. I don't think the Red Sox should have been stripped of it anyway, but the Astros certainly should have been. So, I and mean, it's just, a very, very benign punishment. For 
I, again, the Red Sox get lumped into this, and I agree with you. It's not nearly as awful as what the Astros did. It is one of the biggest scandals on the field in sports history. I mean, a championship was won, beat you know the New York Yankees, who are probably the most popular team in North America, or at least certainly in baseball, and it went unpunished. To the point, Michael, where, you know what? I don't know if it discourages anybody from trying it again. Just make sure that the players are the head pin to it because they can't be touched. It, it's, it's, just, it's, it's so frustrating. And I'm not even a Yankee fan, Michael, but I just think it's frustrating. Even, even the great Tom Brady served a four-game suspension a quarter of the season for deflate gate. Yep. Because you know what? Goodell didn't give anybody any immunity. He's not afraid of the players. Like in baseball, they have a, a, a CBA that they have to negotiate. He doesn't want to deal with but, this. But, it, but and, and I could be wrong about this, Michael, and I think you'll probably uh, disagree with me. I think the whole immunity was because he knew he couldn't touch him anyway. I think that's a very convenient thing to say. Well, I wanted a really thorough investigation, so I gave the players immunity so I can get all the information possible to have the investigation. Who cares about your investigation if nobody ends up getting punished at the end of the day anyway? So I think the immunity is just an excuse for knowing that he was completely impotent during this whole thing, and he couldn't touch the players anyway. So I don't even buy the immunity. I think that's whole, that whole thing's made up anyway. 